Uh, every production yacht I look at these days has some sort of anchor winch, uh, normally 12 volt. And I'm just going to show you a couple of little tips here that hopefully you'll find of interest. First of all, the anchor winch in this particular case is on a GRP bench. The underside of the bench has, in this case, a plywood pad, which I don't know if you'll be able to see very clearly or not. Uh, but these quite commonly get quite wet. And so it's important to regularly check them with a spike, just to make sure they're okay. Uh, especially where the uh, chain runs down through these sort of areas, like here, on both sides. So it's, it's, they don't tend to get um, flow coated or anything to protect them, so the plywood gets quite wet. What's quite disappointing on this particular one is the level of corrosion going on around the, the base of the anchor winch. Uh, and again, if it had been regularly fresh water flushed out, the salt crystals wouldn't have been developing in quite such a way as to cause this sort of level of aggression in the side of the casting. Um, currently there's no oil leaks I can see, but you can certainly see the uh, state of what's going on at the bottom here. And here certainly you can see quite a large loss of material on the, on the foot of the winch. The thing that's actually uh, even more disappointing on this particular one is the fact that no one, even the last surveyor, spotted that the chain uh, is not calibrated for this uh, gypsy. And so it's actually only catching in every other one of the gypsy. So if this was under what I call significant load, there would be quite a serious problem going on here. Um, so either it needs a complete new chain run, uh, which is probably a 10 mil, rather than the uh, current 8 mil chain that's in there. So I hope you find that of interest. Um, always feel free to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.